line of research, I tried to bridge the gap between sex and relationship Hold research. Is because how do sexual problems develop from negative relationship experiences? And for this, I, I go back to the topic of attachment and sexuality. Self. Maybe and I'm not worthy of his or her love. Maybe ah, I can see that people are not reliable. They're not there when you need them. So these schemes are stored and they have a really big influence because they will guide our thoughts, feelings and behavior in our relationships throughout life. using sex to satisfy their attachment needs. So they have sex to kind of commit the other. And they fuse sex and love, have a lot of negative emotions and worrying during sex. And what is so typical for anxious individuals is that they actually use sex as a barometer of their love. Attachment help us to understand the underlying dynamics of sexual responses. And so it's also re really important in therapy to actually ask about one's attachment history. So we also found that women experience this vaginal pressure as more pleasant when the partner is present. And especially... So I hope that today I kind of was able to illustrate some of the research we're actually doing in Maastricht in which we really focus on these specific research questions on the link between sex and relationships because